I believe this is now part part six of the Muslim who calls me a dumbass. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I didn't read through your whole thing. Did you read anything I write? I mean, do, you, do you read anything I write? Maybe just half of it. Huh. But anyways, in your case, since it was old, it was Old Testament, you might as well throw away the prophecy that prophesied him. Ha ha ha. Such a retarded argument. Well, where does it prophesize the quote, unlettered prophet who can neither read nor write? Uh, where does it say Achmed in it? The Quran says that that is how you will find Mo in it. So where is Mo the, in, the, in the before scriptures, like the clear signs Quran says? Sorry, I didn't like, I, I, don't, I didn't feel like reading your long post. I don't care. I'll eventually put it in a book. And I did, but can't publish it, so I have to do it this way. Or make a video out of it for someone to read or hear it. Or hear it. Really, since you couldn't answer my question, which one? Which one was that? Now you ask me an, another question concerning my prophet. You asked, and please tell me how was prophet Jesus described as? My answer to that is so. Muhammad described Jesus as red-faced, as if, quote, straining at stool, coming out of the, the bathroom. He said that he met Jesus when he flew on the donkey-like Elbrock that he said as the head, the head of a human, wings of a bird, and tail of a peacock. I kid you not. Guess what? In Sahih Bukhari, it was a vision and not something that actually happened. And if you go to the Dome of a Rock in, in Jerusalem, guess what? There's no sign pointing at a hole saying that's the hoofprint of the Elba Rock. You know what I, you know what I'm, you know what I'm a throw and you won't agree. What? What? So there is no point. Well, I still don't know what you mean with you know what I'm a throw and you won't agree. I don't know what that means. But if that is your argument. Prophet Isa's name ain't in the prophecy. So? Neither is Ahmed or the unlettered prophet who can neither read nor write. Instead, there are scriptures in the quote before scriptures, Bible, that make no sense if there was never to be a Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha! It says his name will be Emmanuel. Last time I checked, Jesus and Emmanuel don't sound anything alike. Maybe it will be Emmanuel when he comes back to earth. After all, quote, Emmanuel means God is God with us, or God is with us, or something. It goes something like that. Ha ha ha. It's Al-Barak, not the Barak. They both mean lightning, do they not? Who cares how it's spelled? And he never said that was the description of it. Don't believe the Sahih sound hadith? That's smart of you if you don't. Unfortunately, Sunni Muslims do believe in the hadith so much that some join ISIS. You seem like you read anything you say off the internet. Oh, don't tell me. But any Quran or hadith site on the internet was really just written by Jews to make Islam look uh, stupid and evil. True? <laughs> uh, Dud, that wasn't a hadith with peacock feathers and human head. That was a painting you are referring to, or an art. Not every hadith is sahih. Laughing at rock. You retard. Retard. Yeah, retard. Oh my Allah. Then Muhammad must have flown it into heaven after all. Yep, he went to the heavens. Ha ha ha. I never rejected that. Are you Israeli? He flew it into heaven. Listen to Moses, I mean uh, Musa, uh, about talking Allah down from 50 prayers a day to the current five. If true, well, aren't you glad Mo listened to Musa and talked old Allah down from, from having you uh, with your patini in there 50 times a day to, have to bring it down to the current five? I, of course, I agree with Muhammad, though, that, quote, seeking knowledge for one hour is better than praying for 70 years. I bet you don't believe that saying, though, right? 
as far as an Israeli. Am I Israeli? Oy vey. Now, why would you ask that? Uh, what What is the meal? Oy vey. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, have you seen the, have you been inside the Dome of the Rock? Again, have you been inside the Dome of the Rock? If you have, look for a sign pointing at a hole in it that says the, the hoof print of the Albarak. Look for it. Will ya? Let's see. Damn, you still are so immature. But I understand because you, a, 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 you are a retarded ass CP fan. Laugh not loud. Again, CP is uh, his word for Christian Prince. He doesn't want to say Christian Prince because that's advertisement for Christian Prince. Who, again, is the best I know on the internet at exposing Islam. He's a native Arabic speaker and he... He knows his Islam inside and out. Inside and out. I've learned more from him than anyone else. Again, aren't you glad Mo listened to Moses? I mean Musa and talked old Al down from having having you, you have your patootie in the air fifty times a day and got it down to the current five. Come on, you have to be thrilled that Mo took the flying donkey like ride flight whatever, don't you? And I asked yo. If you are Israeli, because another dumbass that I talked to came up with all it is like the jaw thing, like I, like you did. Like why you did. Hmm? You mean others read the Hadith like me? Man, I thought I was the only one. Well, it's a heat, sound Hadith that says that about old Allah. Are you telling me only Israelis know about the Sahih sound Hadith? Who knew? Yeah. I was wondering if you told were the same people. No. Maybe though we have the same Islam teacher. Have you heard of the Arabian prophet? That's Christian Prince. I've had him as an Islam teacher for the past 10 years. He's a native Arabic speaker who has taught me a lot. By the way, it really sounds like you don't believe the Sahih Hadith that has Mo acknowledging Un unknowingly given a description of his sock puppet Allah when describing the Dajjal. You don't believe that Hadith, do you? You, you know you could say CP. I know who he is. He's a dumbass himself. Ha ha ha. He bashes Islam and he can't even read the Quran properly. Ha ha ha. Don't tell me, but read the Quran properly is Muslim code for believe all the idiocy. Oh, by the way, I, I like this Sahih Hadith, description of Allah. Uh, this is it, Al-Khattab uh, chapter, the appearance of the Dajjal. And there's Arabic here. Yeah. The prophet said, I have told you some about the Dajjal, Antichrist. And that I was afraid you, uh, that you, I was afraid you may not understand. The Antichrist is short, hen-toed, woolly-haired, one-eyed, and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep-seated. If you are confused about him, know that your your Lord is not one-eyed. <laughs> That's Abu Dawud, Amir bin al Asad Aswad, uh, was appointed a judge. And here's the Arabic. Uh, Sahi, great Sahi. Uh. The following is due to Ard, the guy I'm talking to, making it so you can't uh, see what he wrote, making it so, making it look like you're talking to nothing. So far, it can be seen on my comment thread, but not the actual video when you're playing the video. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, oh, excuse me. Man. All right. Now, I, I, re I repeat it here. And then some guy talks. What does he say? He says, do you think you are insulting us? Then there is no great fool like you in this world. By your statement, you are bringing disgrace, disgrace to you, your family, your community, and your Muhammad, and your so-called God. All your actions are a reflection of what you owe. Oh. Remember the hand of a person who takes shot to through 
stink more. Oh well, it doesn't sound very good. And then the guy attacks the guy, and that gets him attacking. Then the Muslim attacks him, saying, "Will God test people and punish people?" And some other guy goes on and on, and then they go on. And they start attacking him, and it's going back and forth, back and forth. And you know something? I don't want to read it, so I'll begin part seven some other way.